Okay guys, so once you have set up your Facebook Business Manager, one of the first steps is claiming a business page in your account here. So even if you already have a business page set up uh, under your Facebook account, uh, it's not automatically assigned or associated here with Facebook Business Manager. So you've got to claim that business page so that it will, it will be added in over here under accounts, it's going to show up under the pages section. Now, if you had multiple pages, they would all be showing up under here. So as you can see right here, it says that Framingham Window Cleaning, which is the this name of this account that we created, doesn't have any pages yet. So we'll have to add in that page. Uh, likewise, if we had ad accounts uh, created in some other account, we would have to add those in. Right now, this one does not have in an ad account. Um, most of you probably will not be concerned with working on setting up uh, apps. So that would be uh, like a mobile device app that you'd be creating. That's uh, a developer would be creating that for you, but your type of business and you probably do not need a, an app set up. Um, and then you're probably not using WhatsApp messaging system. Uh, most of you probably are using Instagram accounts. I'm not really going to dive into Instagram uh, accounting, uh, account uh, marketing. Um, you'll have to find training for that elsewhere, unfortunately. Okay guys, let's dive into how to add in a page. So really quickly, I'm going to have to add this person to a business page simply because uh, the Framingham window cleaning business page that I had set up before in a previous video that you saw, that was actually under my personal account, uh, but I'm using my wife's business manager uh, right now to show you this video because she didn't have one set up and I needed to, to create one for this video. So I have to do this under two separate videos. But keep in mind, as you're doing this, you would be doing this from your account. You would be clicking through add and then adding in the page. So I'm going to pause really quickly and add this account to uh, her account. That way you can see it. Okay, really quickly, I'm going to open up uh, this user accounts Facebook so we can see if there's a notification up here about getting access to that business page. There we go. So at the very top under the little blue bell, uh, it says uh, Chris McCoy invited you to become an admin of Framingham Window Cleaning. So let's go ahead and click through there. And then we can accept this invite in here. Now, for whatever reason, if someone has uh, granted you access like this, either through Business Manager or through someone's page, and you don't see a notification under the bells, which happens quite a, a lot, actually, um, you'll want to check your email and check the social folder in uh, Gmail, if you have Gmail. Uh, or another option is if you're in the pages uh, section of Facebook. So it should be facebook.com forward slash pages which is what we see up here in my address bar. So for facebook.com forward slash pages, you can get rid of, you don't have to type all this other stuff out here, but if you go to the, the pages section of Facebook, you should see all of your invites, whether it's uh, an invitation to become an admin on a page or to like a page or, or something else. So we're gonna go ahead and select accept. And now once we're an admin on this page, well, let's go back over to business manager here. And I'm just gonna refresh the page here. Let's click on add and let's click on add a page. So let's search for that page. So it's going to show up here at the top, Framingham window cleaning. Now, before I click on this though, I want to show you, we had a couple other options on here. So under the add button, we can request access to a page. So if we, if we attempt to do this option here, uh, this should send a notification um, over to the other business uh, that, that has this page. So for example, if this, business uh, belong to someone else, like you were going to run ads for someone else, 
you could use this option here to try to push a notification over to that business. But again, as I mentioned over here, sometimes the notifications fail to show up on their side. So you're better off trying to get added to their page first. That way you can find it under add a page. And then the third option under adding a page in Business Manager is to create a new page. So I, in this case, I already had a page set up, but if I needed to create a brand new page, I would click on this option here. So let's go ahead and click on add a page. And again, let's search for that, uh, that page here. Now what you see under here for these other pages, these are actually other people's pages. So I'm not added as admins for these, um, but I, I did add myself as an admin. Uh, actually, I added my wife's account as an admin to this page here. Uh, just to further tie the, the, the two together. So let's go ahead and click through Framingham Window Cleaning. And let's go ahead and click on Add Page. Let's click on Close here. And I did cl close that a little too quickly, but it did say, uh, it had a little message up there that said that since you're an already an admin on the page, you're already added in um, on this section here. Okay, so now... I'm going to stop here and then on the next video, we're going to dive into a little bit more about uh, adding in people and, and partners to this page.